Oracle Access Manager, a product from Oracle's Identity and Access Management Suite, is Oracle's recommended single sign-on and authentication solution to integrate web-based applications. In this video, I'm going to show you topics we cover in our Oracle Access Manager training, including integration with Oracle eBusiness Suite. Hi, my name is Atul Kumar. I'm an Oracle Ace blogger and author of two books on Oracle identity and access management. So the topic which we cover in our Oracle access manager training on day one, Oracle identity and access management concepts. So we start our day explaining what all components or what all products that make identity and access management suite mainly into identity governance access management and directory services. We cover high level overview of all the products from identity and access management suite like Oracle Identity Manager, Oracle Privileged Account Manager, Oracle Access Manager, Oracle Adaptive Access Manager, Oracle Entitlement Server, Oracle Directory Services like Oracle Internet Directory, Oracle Unified Directory and a lot more. Then we cover Oracle Fusion Middleware concepts and the reason why we think it's important to understand Oracle Fusion Middleware is because Oracle Access Manager is deployed on Oracle Fusion Middleware. And it's good to know while troubleshooting how, how the Fusion Middleware works. Then we cover Oracle Access Manager architecture where we discuss about various components that make Oracle Access Manager like the backend database which holds Oracle Access Manager schema, Oracle Access Manager runtime engine that also acts as a policy decision point, Oracle Access Manager console which is a graphical user interface to manage Oracle Access Manager artifacts, the Oracle Access Manager policy enforcement points that are get deployed at the client side, mainly on the web servers or the business application. Then we cover weblogic concepts, things like weblogic domain, servers, data sources in weblogic server and node manager. We also discuss repository creation utility, which is a tool to create Oracle Access Manager schema and database. Then on day two, we cover installation and configuration of Oracle Access Manager, where you do hands on our servers using step by step instructions that we provide on our servers. You also do start and stop of Oracle Access Manager. Again, another hands-on exercise that you do on our servers remotely, start and stop Oracle Access Manager. Then we discuss file system that gets created after installation and configuration of Oracle Access Manager. We discuss key files for Oracle Access Manager like main configuration file or the log file location. Then we look at the two consoles which are available one is weblogic console to manage oracle weblogic server and then oracle access manager console that is used to manage oracle access manager artifacts like application domain data sources web gate agent configuration session management and a lot many other things so oracle access manager comes with an embedded ldap server you can integrate your oracle access manager with external ldap servers like oids or active directory and in data sources topic, we are going to discuss integrating Oracle Access Manager with Oracle Internet Directory. And that's also one of the hands-on exercises. And then on day three, we cover Oracle Access Manager agents, which is policy enforcement points, typically of the three categories. And these agents get installed on the application side, mainly under web server. We also discuss the various modes in which agent can communicate to the Oracle Access Manager servers. One of the agent type is of WebGate and that WebGate gets installed on the web server. So we discuss web server overview, Oracle HTTP server as the web server. You do the installation of Oracle HTTP server using our step-by-step -step instructions on our servers remotely. And then you also install and configure WebGate on our servers remotely. And on day four, we start on defining the policies or the various components that make a policy like application domain, authentication module, authentication scheme, 
authentication and authorization policy creation we'll take an example of an application that we want to protect and then create authentication and authorization policy for that particular application then we'll also look at password expiry and account lockout features within oracle access manager and then we cover high availability disaster recovery and maximum availability architecture for oracle access manager where high availability is deploying active active cluster in one data center and then configuring another data center so that primary site is replicated to a another standby site is called disaster recovery setup and if primary and standby site are configured both in active active mode where both primary is active and standby site is also active available for client request that's called as maximum availability architecture so oracle access manager provides active active support across data centers so we are going to look at all the three setups in oracle access manager then on day five we cover oracle e-business suite release 12.1 integration with oracle access manager for single sign-on so we're going to discuss integration architecture and we're going to also look at integration of e-business with oid oid is also integrated with oracle access manager as user repository and then we'll look at ebs integration with oracle access manager we'll go through uh, the various tools and log file to troubleshoot ebs om integration issues we'll also look at configuring global logout for oracle e-business suite when integrated with oracle access manager so this covers oracle access manager training over the five days having said that few other things i would like to mention that we don't finish our training after five days we provide support for next one year for any technical queries through our through our support portal so the next question is why you should take this training from k21 technologies so first we provide dedicated machine for each trainee to practice installation configuration startup shutdown integrations deployment of application with lots of hands-on exercises to practice on our servers the servers are available 24 by 7 during the training for practice and it's very important that you should do hands-on the next is you get access to the recordings that you can replay again and again over entire lifetime we also give opportunity for you to retake these live virtual sessions anytime in next one year we provide support for one year through our forums or email we are so confident about our trainings that we provide 100 percent money back guarantee so if you are not happy after attending first two sessions then inform us before the third session and we'll do the full refund and finally all our trainers are oracle certified this is what our customers say about us this is the most effective and best priced training with real-time deployment scenarios here's another one where we provided a corporate training for one of oracle implementers where we train dbas and apps dbas for oracle fusion middleware so finally if you would like to register for oracle access manager training then click on button register for course on your video or if you have any queries then leave a message here or drop us an email on training at k21technologies.com so i repeat if you're interested to register for this course click on the button on the video register for course or you can contact us on the email address training at k21technologies.com